The Boston Police Department says they are still investigating and at this point no one is facing any charges. I just reviewed the police report and it says alcohol does not appear to be a factor in this crash, but it also gives no indication about why the driver apparently lost control. A crew cleaned up the wood and metal debris left on this front yard in Roslindale, and neighbors remembered the longtime owner of this triple decker who loved to sit on his front steps. He would just be sitting there, you know, having a coffee with his wife or just sitting. Just honestly, he was just enjoying the day. That's like, that was his typical routine. He just waves at people. He's just a friendly guy. This carpenter was working on a house a few doors down Sunday evening. He heard a crash up the street, then looked up to see a silver Honda sedan that apparently had sideswiped a parked minivan, then slammed into the porch. His wife was actually looking for him afterwards and didn't realize it was him underneath the car. Authorities have identified the man who was killed as six-year-old Agidio D'Antoni. Another unidentified man who was apparently walking on the sidewalk was hit and injured. When I drive and I go, I take it carefully, you know. Neighbors say speeding is a problem on this stretch of Washington Street, which does have dedicated bus lanes on each side, but only during weekday commute hours. At the time of the crash, on a Sunday evening, those lanes were available for parking. I mean, honestly, you have a sidewalk, you have a fence, you have a deck on top of that. Like, you know, you would never imagine that would have happened. Some friends of Egidio D'Antoni came by the scene today. They say he went by Gino and that he worked for years in the Boston Parks Department. Live in Roslindale, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5.